Grade 6 Math, number 9.1. This chapter we're doing integers. We're going to understand integers and absolute value. Integers are the set of all whole numbers and their opposites. So no fractions, no decimals, okay? These are whole numbers and their opposites. The two numbers are opposites if they're the same distance from zero. So look at the blue, red, and green lines. Negative 1 is the opposite of 1. Negative 2 and 2 are opposites. Negative 3 and 3 are opposites. See? Negative 99 and positive 99 are opposites. See? It's just the plus and the minus. Okay? So, an absolute value is, a num is the uh, distance a number is from 0 on a number line. So the absolute value for negative 3 is 3, because it's 3 away from 0. The absolute value for 2, a positive 2, is 2, because it's 2 away from 0. The absolute value for negative 99 is 99. It's 99 spaces away from the 0. And it ends up always being a positive number. When you see these lines that means absolute value, what we do is we take the lines off, we take away the negative sign, and we make it positive, because absolute value will always be a positive number. The absolute value for negative 2 is 2. Because what it's saying is, how far are you away from 0? Okay? So every number is either a positive number or a negative number. We just don't write the plus sign in front of the positive numbers. They're there, though. They're invisible. We can use a number line to help us compare integers and put them in size order. As we move to the left, they become smaller and less. And as we move to the right, they become greater and more. So what's an integer? It's any number, positive or negative, on either side of the zero on the number line, okay? And they're opposites of each other. So, we can put these numbers in size order from smallest to largest on a number line because the positive ones have a little invisible positive number in front of them, right? And the negative ones, well, they're on the left side of the zero. So here's negative 8 and negative 5. Here's our zero. Here's 2, here's 3, and here's 7. See? They're getting bigger going this way and getting smaller going that way. If we did less than, greater than, or equal to, you can use this number line to help you. Negative 3 is smaller. It's less than a 4. Because 4 is on the positive side. See? It's over there. 5 or negative 6? Oh, 5 is always going to be bigger than a negative number. Any positive number is always bigger than a negative number. Think of it as having money or owing money, okay? Zero or one. Would you rather be have zero dollars or one dollar? Oh, one's bigger. Would you rather owe two dollars or have two dollars? Two dollars is bigger than owing it, isn't it? Okay, so the absolute value for negative four is just a four. It's how many numbers it is, how many hops away it is from the zero. The absolute value of positive six is six. It's six hops away from the zero. Absolute value of positive one is one. It's one hop away from the zero. And negative seven is a seven. It's seven hops away from zero. You can almost think of it as putting it in word phrase, okay? How far is a negative seven from zero? It's seven. And then writing it as words, okay? It's seven spaces from zero. All right. If we wanted to find one more than these and one less than these, we could use this number line. To find one more than negative seven, this is the positive side and this is the negative side. And as we go this way, it gets smaller. Okay? And as we go this way, it gets larger. Let me use green for that one. Okay? Bigger. Greater. Okay? All right, so one more than negative 7, well, here's negative 7, one more than it, we're going to be going larger because we're having more. So we're going to go to here to negative 6. See? One more than the absolute value of 2. Remember what the absolute value of 2 is? It's just how far away it is from 0. 2 is 2 spaces away from 0, and they're always positive, remember? So 1 more than 2 is 3. What's 1 more than negative 3? Here's negative 3. And if we want to go bigger, we have to go that way, right? So negative 2. 
is bigger than negative 3. What's one more than 0? Well, 1. What's one more than the absolute value of negative 9? What's the absolute value? It's the distance a number is from 0, and it's always positive. So what's one more than 9? 10. But what's one more than negative 9, and it doesn't have the absolute value marks on it? Well, here's negative 9 on a number line, and if we want to go one more, which is one bigger, we'll end up at negative 8. See? Big difference, isn't it? From having the absolute value sign on, lines on it to not having it. Okay? Now we're going to do one less. What's one less than 2? That's an easy one. One less than 2 is 1, right? What's one less than 0? Here's 0. If we go one less, we're at negative 1. What's one less than the absolute value of negative 6? Remember what absolute value means. It's the distance it is away from 0. So the distance is 6. They're always made positive. So what's one less than 6? 5. What's one less than negative 8? Now, it doesn't have absolute value on it. So we're actually at negative 8. What's one less? We go smaller. We go to negative 9, see? What's one more than 8? Or no, we're doing less, right? So what's one less than 8? Well, here's the 8. If we want to go less, we have to go to the left, right? So it's 7. So do you see what happened here? Even though we're still going less, for the negative 8, the number grew. For the 8, it went down. Do you know why? Think of it like this. This, this is the ground that we're standing on on Earth. And that's the zero line. And as we build hills, we go positive. And as we dig holes, we go negative. See? Like we go in debt. So think of it that way, all right? Think of it as building hills and digging holes when you're doing negative and positive, okay? And that might help you. All right, so those are integers, and that's absolute value. An integer is the set of all the whole numbers and their opposites on either side of zero, negative and positive, and absolute value is how far a number is away from zero, and it always becomes a positive number, okay? See you next video. Bye.